Hello world, uh, my name is Keon, and I'm currently sick. Uh, a user on Reddit wanted to know how to uh, select a pawn with your mouse and tell them where to go, much like in Dota 2. So during the YouTube portion of this video, I'm going to show you how to select a pawn and control a pawn. Now first thing first, create a top-down template, that's all this is. I just changed it up a little bit to make it look somewhat sexy. Uh, and when you make your top-down template, assuming you're using Unreal version 4.7 or above, they should have a character already in the middle. Just go ahead, copy him. Uh, control, I mean Alt drag to make a copy, and Alt drag shift to make a copy while following with your camera. Right, right. Pretty spiffy stuff. So let's play and see what really happens. So we have this character, and when we use the right mouse button, we control where he goes. What we want to happen is well, we select another character with our left mouse button and use the right mouse button to control them. By default, it's going to be the left mouse button. Let me tell you what I did to change things up. Go to your project settings and go to your, your oh my goodness, nose. Go to your input and change set destination to your right mouse button. This is what I did. You don't have to, but change. I changed mine to right mouse button and I made a new action input called select pawn and I made that my left mouse button. So, after opening a template, cloning these, and changing the input, next thing we're going to go to is our top-down controller. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, if you go to the event graph, study that. It's very, very cool stuff. Now, here's where things get a little uh, experimentally, because I've not done this before. Well, what we want to do is use a select pawn to actually get things started. So we're going to type in select pawn, see if that, yep, it works. That's our input. That's how you use inputs. And when we press something, we want magic to happen. So how do we know? Basically, the idea is when we select, click this, we're trying to select a pawn. So we want to make sure that what is underneath our mouse is uh, actually a character. I keep saying pawn, but it's really supposed to be a character. So we want to get cursor. Now, here's the part I don't know the difference between. And maybe one of you guys out there can help me. I don't know the difference between object or channel. I'm going to do object for now. Uh, oh, that looks trippy. Huh. Alright. So anyways, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set both of these here, just in case. So I'm going to try with the cursor. And then if we get any errors, I'm going to just go change that. All right. And we want to break this. And it doesn't have break by default, so we're just going to have to type that in. There we go. Beautiful. All right, and we want to get our actor. Now, whenever we're bringing something out of here, we want to try to cast it as something. So... Go ahead and drag out from your input pod and make a cast a character. This is the best way to go about doing this because this way uh, characters basically mean any character. So if you have a character blueprint, this will work on them. And so the actor that we just hit will be that guy. All right. So now what we want to do is see if this is actually working. So go ahead and print. And just drag this to here, or not. Drag that to here, or not. How about this? Uh, it needs a string. We really just want a name, so no. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Get display name. And just drag that there. So let's see if this works. Go ahead and test that out. Oh yeah, compiler errors. All right. Where's our compiler error? Um, let's see. Damn you, autosave. Object types is, pin is invalid. Oh. So we absolutely have to have an object type. All right, so I'm not going to mess with you. Let's go ahead and use this guy. All right, there we go. And you know what? Let me, let me skip this for now. Make things less complicated. Go ahead and just redrag everything you just saw me do. That way we could get a more precise uh, feedback. So our character doesn't seem to have a name. 
which is weird. But everything else in the world does. That's weird. Let's see if it has to do with this. Let's change the cursor channel to camera and try that again. And yep, our characters have names now. That's awesome. Cool. So make sure the get hit result by channel should be camera. No idea why that's working that way. It just is. So let's go back and drag everything back to where it was before. Get rid of you. Because we know it works. We don't need that guy anymore. And so now what we want to do is uh, set this as our new character. But, so we're going to drag off. Uh, we're going to promote this to a variable and set this as a new character. Call it new character. But in order for us to have a new character, that means we have to have an old character. So let's promote this again, just to like make it really quick. Uh, new variable, and set this as current character. Right, right. All right. So now we have a new character and a current character. We uh, we don't want our current character here. We want our current character by default to be whoever we start with. So let's uh, begin play and set whoever we are as our, as our character. So let's uh, drag out a character and there we go. That was very, very easy. This is all you need for the that part. It's super sexy. I love Blueprint. Alright, so basically what we want to happen is when we click a character, we take control of that character if he's not our current character. So we need to, uh, first we need to set a the character that we're casting as our new character and then we need to compare and contrast to see if our new character is different from our old character so if our new character is not equal to our current character let's go ahead and just drag him over here then we do some stuff so we're going to branch off And always, always, if you're if you're coming from like programming, branch is always going to be the if else. I love it. It's beautiful. It gets a lot of things done. So, if uh, our new character and our current character are different, then we want to take control of the new character. So that's a very, very easy thing to do. All you gotta do is possess and drag out a new character. And last but not least, oh, actually, let's uh, let's get let's uh, play so we can see what's going on. So we're walking around, walking around, and then we click this guy, and now we control him. Sexy, right? Click this guy, we control him. And all over again. Or not. What happened is we never set this guy as our current character. These guys are still new characters, I believe. Yeah, they're still new characters. So what we need to do is make sure we set them to a uh, current character so that way they can be selected again in the future if you want that so selected actually let's see something interesting I think I broke the game yep that's interesting well that would probably require more uh, handling later on but yeah so far, so good. Uh, thank you for watching this part of the tutorial. Hopefully, I'll be able to come up with another part of the tutorial soon. More information at the end of the video. Comments, critique, always welcome. And if you have any ideas for a tutorial, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.